Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, we are going to focus on your panic attacks and how to throw it away in just a few minutes. But before that, I want 100 likes on this video and I hope you will complete it in one second. So tip 1, 100% health bar. Always keep your health bar full before engaging every fights. Even if you are just a 10 HP away from the full bar, just don't fight. It is as simple as that. I personally never fight with 90% of lesser HP, unless I don't have any other option but to fight. Fighting with a full HP gives you a higher possibility of winning it, because sometimes even 1 HP can save you. And I have faced situation like this so many times in my whole 6 years of journey. And I'm sure many of you may have also clutched in just 1 HP too. So that is the importance of your health bar, and to keep it full before fighting can save you a lot of times. Panic attack usually happens after getting damages from your enemies. And if you engage a fight with a 70% or lower HP, then obviously your HP will fall below 30%. And once it starts to decrease, that's where the panic attack enters the chat. So just don't do this and always fight with full HP. Watch this 1v3 fight, where I didn't concede at a single damage and won. Tip 2, think before you move. Always in a pressure situation, we don't even think twice before making a crucial move, and then we end up as a death crate. In panic situations, every move you make are really crucial, including your breaths. What? Also it is crucial to drop a like in this video. So, before you make a move, analyze your surroundings and try to predict what can happen if you make your next possible move. Because some move can make your gameplay, and some can break it too. Explaining this thing with the puzzle of words is not possible. So that's why you need to watch and analyze this 1v4 clip, where I tried to think before making each move. So watch this practical example to understand properly. Feel the 
Tip 3, You vs Squad. The real panic attack happens normally when you are engaged in a fight against a whole squad or at least three players. Like in the end circle, when only you are left surviving in your squad, and now you need to take out a whole squad to win the game. In these panic situations, just don't let your panic attack enters your mind. All you need to do is focus. Just focus and at least try. Trying is the very basic way to erase panic attacks, and it is just a game. Even if your trial fails, you will at least learn from your mistakes. By the way, dropping a like also teaches you so many things. <laughs> Jokes aside, just focus in trying more than panicking and giving away your kills easily. Watch this end circle 1v3, where I did the same. Tip 4, Reverse Card. The best way to cancel your panic attacks is by playing the Uno Reverse Card. I mean, instead of being panicked, you need to start panicking your enemies. And doing this is pretty simple. You just need to throw some grenades at your enemy's spot, or even if you don't have any nades, then just try to pull your smoke grenades pin, and then cancel it. This will make them confused and as well as panicked. This trick is what I personally do in almost every single match, in order to make my opposition panic. Anyways, here is an example clip, you can watch it for a better understanding. Use these tips and I'm sure you will say goodbye to your panic attacks. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and most importantly, subscribe the channel if you are new here. And I will see you in the next one, peace out guys.